Hi guys, Tara Scott here from Revitalize and we are talking about the gut. So we talked about digestion in the last video. In this video, I want to talk about your microbalance. So this is the buzzword, the microbiome and the gut flora and everything. And so it's funny because when I went to medical school, bacteria were bad. And now what we're finding is a high percentage of our DNA is actually bacterial. And so there are really, really important functions that the bacteria in your gut have to do with. They have to do with digestion, but they also have to do with absorption and also production of certain things that help your immune system and believe it or not, your mood. 90% of your serotonin, which is your feel happy chemical neurotransmitter is made in your gut. And if your gut isn't healthy and isn't functioning, that is a problem. So how do we know what's going on with your microbiome? So now it's funny because probiotics are all the buzz and we did the video on probiotics and prebiotics earlier, but patients can just go to the store, to the health food store and get probiotics. And so what I see people doing, and honestly I did this myself, is they start buying probiotics. Well, if 20 billion is good, maybe 50 billion is better. Maybe I should get 100 billion. So they're like on these massive quantities of probiotics, and we don't even really know if that's what you need. And guess what? Bacterial balance in your gut is just like Goldilocks. Too much is bad, too little is bad. So whenever patients ask me like, what should I take as far as a probiotic? I can give you a general recommendation, but I really recommend we find out about your bacterial balance. If you have too much bacteria in your gut, you could have something called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, where you might have belching and burping, but people can have a lot of other symptoms of that as well, such as pain, rashes, a lot of other things. And, I'm, and we had another uh, video on SIBO earlier. So, but um, it's very important to look at a stool test again to find out your bacterial balance. So, I did a stool test a couple years ago, and then I, did a, I didn't have enough bacteria, so I took a high dose bacterial count temporary probiotic, and I felt so much better. Then a year later, I decided I was gonna repeat it. Well, I ended up giving myself a bacterial overgrowth because I didn't check to see what the balance was of my bacteria, and I took these high dose probiotics, 200 billion, and I already had a lot of bacteria. Uh, things that can ruin the bacterial balance in your gut is obviously taking the PPIs and the acid blockers, like I said, because there's normally supposed to be acid in your stomach, and if you decrease the acid, the bacteria can go and live in your stomach where it's supposed to be a high acidic state. Taking antibiotics can be an issue too, and I know the mentality of a lot of Americans can be like, oh, I have a cold, I need an antibiotic, I have a sinus section, I need an antibiotic, and a lot of times these colds are just viral. I didn't think I took a lot of antibiotics, so I couldn't understand what the issue was, but then I remember that when I was pregnant, I actually had mastitis time after time after time, so I was on a preventative antibiotic. So those are things that can affect your bacterial balance, and really the only way to know, we can kind of figure out your symptoms, but the only way to know is to do a complete digestive stool analysis as well. And the, it's great that a lot of companies do that.